Hey, it's Meg from Flora and the Novice Explorers, worldwide fame and all that stuff. This is our standard twin cabin, 22 inch flat screen TV. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Complimentary towels, hand soap, and a lovely shower. <laughs> what are you doing? It? Bagsy bottom bunk. In it. All the angles. Does all this luxury come at a cost? The answer, £152 for Flora, us two, and this two berth cabin. Uh, we've made it, we are in Holland. We have been driving for about 10 minutes, just getting a feel for things. I was quite nervous. It's like, right, keep to the right, keep to the right, keep to the right. Cyclist, cyclist, keep to the right, keep to the right. I was quite nervous. We have driven in Europe before once. We have reset the sat-nav to avoiding tolls, kilometres per hour. Um, Avoid uh, green zones. Yeah. So we drove to our first free spot, one that looked like a surefire bet on our app. We went the wrong way. Twice. That's to be expected. Um, human error and... Well, I don't know, I think it's just human error all around actually, to be quite honest. We finally found our spot. That human being cow. <laughs> no, <laughs> you did it first. Actually, you took... You took us the longest way out of the way, didn't you? Yeah, well, the only problem with our app is that it doesn't particularly do um, postcodes, specific postcodes yeah. very well. So we have to... And also it doesn't tell you not to go left on a roundabout. Don't be a dick. <laughs> you we, wait, we you almost... wait till your turn I'm driving. Not, You're not, not doing it. No. I don't know if you'd be able to hear us that well over the sound of whatever's living down in this bush. Okay. Crickets. Crickets, but the sun is setting. It's a bit later than we intended because we got lost. Um, but we've had a nice chill day and we kind of, we're feeling that we're in a nice spot now where we can relax. Um, the plan is to leave earlyish tomorrow to try and, we're going to treat ourselves to a campsite because we, we want to go into Amsterdam for a day or so. Yep. So we think, I have a base and we can, we've got the bikes ready. I've fixed the chain, I think, touch wood, and we can then cycle into Amsterdam. Lovely. Hello, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the very messy Novice Explorer's office. You don't have to be crazy to work here, but <laughs> <laughs> Change of plan. Yesterday I said that we were going to go into Amsterdam today. Change of plans. We woke up this morning and we could hear rain on the windscreen and the reality of being where we are kind of hit us all at once. So we've decided to take an extra day or so just to chill out, get our bearings, catch up with some admin, uh, speaking of which, there has been quite an exciting update today. That exciting news is that we will be published writer and photographer. By the time you see this on YouTube, it will have already happened, but if you've been up to date on our Facebook, you will know about this already. Um, but if you fancy a copy of the Camper Van magazine that we feature in, you can easily backdate it, so we'll put the link in the description below. We are in the September issue. Mm. We are really chuffed and it has given us a big smile on our face and a spring in our step. Um, so we thank the guys, uh, Genevieve at Camper Van Magazine, for the opportunity. I don't know if we mentioned last night, but we have got free Wi-Fi yeah. from the pool, which has been really good. And I have been putting a two-day itinerary around Amsterdam so we can get the bikes off. I'm really pumped market galore see all the things that we need to see we've both been to amsterdam before separately mm. many moons ago mm. well, not so much for me but for you it was yeah. um so yeah excitement level is back on 100. 
So me and Meg have had a really nice day today. We've uh, chilled out, caught up with stuff and uh, feel a bit more organised and ready uh, for what lies ahead. Uh, it's quite late now, um, we're getting ready to go to bed but before that it's uh, entertainment night. We don't often get to watch things in the van but we've had some Wi-Fi and the laptops charged up so we thought we'd treat ourselves tonight. See the blinds up, um, screen covers on, tomorrow's going to be good. We're going to be up early. So that's a, that's a promise to ourselves, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we promise we'll be up early because we want to get the van clean, packed down, and we're going to try and head to a campsite. Anyway, it's good night from us. Uh, we'll see you bright and breezy, probably with really little puffy eyes tomorrow morning as we set off for the campsite. Good morning, and you guessed it, we missed all six of our alarms. We didn't miss them, we just didn't want to get up. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with us. Maybe there's a gas leak in this van which is making us really tired. We wanted to get to the campsite before 11 and it is very close to, if not past 11 now. 11? Yeah. Get on. We're just enjoying our sleep. Um, so that's what we're doing now. We're leaving this cool little park up spot. It's been very nice. And there's a couple of campsites in the vicinity so we're hoping at least one of them has a bit of space. Um, and that's it really. 45 minute drive. Uh, not too bad. Anyway, that's us for the next few minutes. Off we go. So we have arrived at Gasper campsite. We're about 15 minutes from the centre of Amsterdam. We have spent the day chilling. Um, we decided against going into Amsterdam. We want to spend a full day and we had still got things to do and we're trying to learn to just chill out and enjoy ourselves and not have a constant to-do list. So we're learning and we're accepting that. I've also been doing a bit of research into uh, a Germany road trip that we'll be doing next and Cal's about to go for a shower. But we've just heard a rather loud clap of thunder and those clouds look a little bit like rain. On site we found a small supermarket, restaurant, showers, laundry and free Wi-Fi. It was quite expensive for our budget, but we made sure we made the most of the facilities. It was also a very busy. Not our usual style, but for us it serves a purpose. Only a 20 minute bike ride into the centre and a secure place to leave our van in the day. We hopped onto our bikes and used the cycle path into Amsterdam. We parked the bikes up and continued on foot. Over the two days we walked and cycled 36 kilometres. Meg's bike broke again, but fortunately we hired one from the campsite. The weather wasn't always kind. Packamax back on! But when it was, we enjoyed Amsterdam's iconic canals working up a fierce appetite, indulging in local favourites and more exotic street food such as Bittenborlen, Bratislava and rice paper wraps. And best of all, a stop at Instock. Now a small chain of restaurants that have been set up to bring awareness to food waste, rescuing food that would otherwise go to waste. We even upped our game on brand awareness, getting our name out there to a European audience. Meg wanted markets and oh boy did she get them. From cheese, vintage clothes to fruit and veg, there was so much to see. And the massive food hall, brimming with food from all over the world and it was such a shame we were on a tight budget. On to the flower market, bright, beautiful and full of colour. We visited out of tulip season but we can imagine what it must be like. In our two-day itinerary, we had covered most of the districts, dodged the rain, enjoyed the sun and the street art. 
We are having such a great time exploring the city, but we did struggle to vlog like we have done previously. We must learn to adapt and have more confidence in public places. Join us next time as we escape to a more rural Holland. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and drop us a comment down below, we always enjoy reading them. See you in the next one. <laughs>